What's the difference between a conversation and a presentation? Luis. The conversation and presentation, the difference is because you, you present the product, you explain the product, and the, and the presentation, you need to explain the features and benefits. How do you benefit the, the product? Okay, close. Chuck, difference between a presentation and a conversation. Well, the presentation is uh, showing features and benefits, and a conversation is just to be about anything. Okay, that's true. Al, what's the difference between a presentation and a conversation? Presentation is you're presenting something to somebody, it's a one sided oh, thing. You're that showing them enough. something. Conversation is mutual, you're going back and forth. Yep. I'm talking at you if I'm presenting to you. Okay? I'm telling you how it is, Angel, as opposed to having a discussion. Which is the most effective way of communication? The conversation. First of all, um, can the customer be looking you straight into the eyes and not hearing the words you say? Their mind, their mind can be a million miles away. Okay? Men are particularly good at this when they're talking to their wives, or their wives are talking to them about something they don't want to hear about. You, block them out. <laughs> you, you completely block them out. You're looking them right in the eye, but you don't hear a word they say. There's no woman I've ever met that, that, that hasn't told me that their husbands do that frequently. Men are good at this. Customers are good at it, too. They look like they're paying attention to you, but they're not. But if I'm having a conversation with Xavier, I can tell if he's engaged. Okay? And I would start off just like this. Xavier, you've picked out one of our Motor Trend certified vehicles. Congratulations. It's a special vehicle, and let me tell you why right off the bat. Look, we know that consumers have got certain fears when they walk onto any car dealer's lot. You may have some of those same fears yourself. For example, do, do you ever worry about paying a car dealer too much for a car? Yes, sir. Okay. What I'm going to say next, Xavier, is going to sound crazy because it's coming from a car salesman's lips. But it's the truth, and it's in writing, and I'll explain how it works. But get ready for crazy. Xavier, it is literally impossible for you to pay too much for this vehicle right here that you're looking at. How so? How so? If you're not skeptical, you're crazy. Let me explain. First of all, we have to price it based on the market. If you hadn't liked our price when you saw it on the internet, would you even be here? No. But you're probably wondering, how much lower could we go? Or you might even be wondering, how much lower could somebody else go? Xavier, we're not going to go any lower because we can't and nobody else is either. Because we're going to guarantee you in writing, this is the best price you're going to find in Yuma County. How does it work? Well, when you take delivery, we're going to give you five days. Search any website you want to. Search Craigslist. Search um, any other franchise dealer's website. Search an independent used car dealer website. If you find a similar vehicle to the one you buy from us, and when I say similar, it's got to be the same make, model, year, trim level. Probably <coughs> got to be in the ballpark. But if you find that similar vehicle, and it is advertised for a lower price than you paid us, and it comes with the same benefits, Xavier, all you have to do is show us that website and we will cheerfully cut you a check back for the difference. We put that in writing. Xavier, have you ever, ever come across an automobile dealer that guaranteed the price in writing like that? No, sir, I haven't. Look, the last thing you need to worry about today is paying too much for the vehicle. The first thing you need to worry about is making sure it's the right vehicle. Let's go check it out. Okay? Now, what fear does that eliminate? Them overpaying, right? The purchasing overall, just the, the thing that they're most worried about. What are 300 million Americans worry about when they walk onto a car dealer's lot? Overpaying, overpaying. Most of them don't, but they worry about it. You know what most people think you make, Julio, when you sell a car? They think you make a thousand bucks. Yeah. They think the dealership made five thousand yeah. dollars. They think your ass is making eight or ten grand on the back end back there. This is what they believe. Okay, they're wrong, but this is what they believe. 
If we can eliminate the customer's fear of paying too much, it increases dramatically our chances of helping them buy a car. True or false? True. Okay. So you're